Ooh, knew what's in the bag. Golficity's don't know what's in the bag. Peter Finch did a what's in the bag. Everybody has a what's in the bag. Maybe I should do a what's in the bag. Meow. Oh, hey guys. So I was out on the range uh, about a week or so ago doing some gap testing with my coach and his launch monitor. So I thought it'd be a really good time to use that footage to talk a little bit about what's in my bag. Everybody else is doing one. I want to feel special, like a special golf influencer on YouTube. So we're going to talk a little bit about what's in my bag. And since we've got some TrackMan data, or flight scope data, we're going to talk about how far I hit each club. Let's do it right meow. start with the bottom of the bag wedges first the first one up is my lob wedge I have a Mizuno s18 60 degree uh, with six degrees of bounce I do also have a 60 degree with 10 degrees of bounce I switch them out depending on the course that I'm playing these are pretty much stock they've got the true temper I think 115 gram uh, weight shafts in them I do love the Mizuno S18s because they're forged, they have a really great feel off of the face. But this is my 60 degree lob wedge, travels 88 yards on average. Up next is going to be my Mizuno S18 56 degree sand wedge. It's got 10 degrees of bounce on it. I like my sand wedge to have a pretty good medium bounce. This is a club that I do use pretty much everywhere around the green and from inside of 100 uh, or so yards. It's pretty stock. I've got the True Temper wedge shafts in this one as well. This club is 107 yards on average. I'm typically using this as my 100 yard club. I can sometimes step it up to around 110, 115 if I'm really pushing it and de-lofting it. But on average, this club's gonna go 107 yards. The next wedge in my bag is my 50 degree uh, 7 bounce S18. This is my gap wedge. Again, pretty stock and standard. I do have it with the MCC4 Golf Cry grips. I love these grips on wedges because there's two dynamic areas that kind of helps me grip down on the club to play some of those softer feel shots and I can kind of get a gauge on where my hands are. This is my pretty much standard 123 yard club. Up next we have my pitching wedge. It's a set wedge. I play the JPX uh, 900 Mizuno forged irons. Absolutely love these irons. I have them in uh, Project XLZ 5.5 uh, 115 gram shaft. I was fitted for these about two years ago, almost as I just got started into my golfing journey. The shafts on my irons are probably not quite fit for where my current swing speeds are as I am a little bit faster and a lot more efficient with the ball. But I do happen to love these irons. They're very uh, good player looking profile on them. I like the top line. My pitching wedge carries 134 yards on average. Up next we have my nine iron, JPX 900 forged again. It's a Project X LZ 5.5 shaft, 115 grams. Pretty much gonna be the same throughout my set. My nine iron carries 144 yards on average. I also have the eight iron and the JPX 900 forged. It's got the same shaft, the Project X LZ 5.5, 115 grams. My eight iron carries 159 yards on average. Now we've got my seven iron, again, JPX 900 forged. I do love my seven iron, it's my favorite club in the bag. It's got a couple of ding marks on it, as you can see. I use this club a lot for practicing and uh, have had it in some unfortunate circumstances. Same shaft as my other irons, it's got the JPX LZ 5.5 shaft, 115 grams. My seven iron carries 170 yards on average. My six iron is also a JPX 900 forge, same specs. It's got the Project X LZ 5.5 shaft, 115 grams. 
The thing I really like about the JPX 900 Forge models is as you get up to the longer irons past seven, it does offer a little bit more forgiveness. There's a bit of a cavity in the back that just kind of helps those longer irons get a little bit more launch and just a little bit more height when you're mistriking it off the center of the face. My six iron carries 182 yards on average. My 5-iron is also a JPX 900 Forge model. This one does not have the exact same shaft in it. It's actually got a Project X 5.5 uh, normal uh, rifle shaft in it. I ended up snapping this club uh, on a tree in one of the course vlogs I did. I was trying to play a punch shot thinking I was Tiger Woods from around a tree and didn't let the club go and I bent the original shaft around a, a tree trying to save a par and punch out from under it. When I took it into the club fitter, they didn't have any of the LZ shafts on hand, so I just had them replace it with the equivalent Project X 5.5. My five iron carries 190 yards on average. For my four iron, I'm currently playing the JPX 900 Hot Metal. It's a bit more forgiving. I do like the fact that it's a little more explosive off the face. And obviously when you're getting up into longer irons and you're not striking it as well, like I'd like to have a little bit of help. I may put back in my other set for iron, but the JPX 900 Hot Metal is nice and chunky behind the ball. It gives me just that little bit more confidence when I'm hitting it. My four iron carries 216 yards on average. My next club in the bag is my hybrid. It's a JPX 900 hybrid. Uh, it's a three hybrid. I have it lofted down to 18 degrees. It has a Tour AD TP5 stiff shaft in it. I think this is around 95 grams. I'm not certain, don't quote me on those specs. Um, I wasn't custom fitted for this. It has that shaft in it. I just found it in a bargain bin. It's been one of the most consistent clubs in my bag for a long time. Currently this club carries 222 yards on average in the 18 degree setting, but I do happen to play this club from a large range of distances from anywhere from 192 all the way up to 230 yards. Up next we have my three wood. This is quite possibly my most favorite club in the bag. I call this one Big Blue. It's the Cobra King F734 fairway wood. I keep the uh, heavier weights in the back as opposed to the front because I don't typically spin this club too high. It's set at 14 and a half degrees uh, of loft and I absolutely love this club. I've learned to become a very good wood player as you can tell from all the wear on the face. This has been something that I've used as my driver has been a club that I, you know, haven't been the strongest with in past. It's got a stock Fujikura Pro shaft in it. I think it's a regular flex, uh, 65 grams. Don't have anything fancy going on here with the shafts. Pretty standard limbs, standard everything. My three wood is currently carrying 246 yards on average. We have the big stick, get the cat out of the bag. I'm currently playing the Callaway Great Big Bertha Epic. Uh, this is the nine degree head. I have it lofted down one degree to 10 degrees. I keep the weight in a neutral setting. I also keep the uh, shaft or the, the, the loft setting in a neutral setting. It's a Fujikura uh, Pro 62 gram stiff flex shaft. Absolutely love the way this driver has been treating me lately. I am gonna test out some other drivers just simply to see what's out there in the market and if my specs can improve. But thus far, this driver's been doing everything that I want it to. I don't really see any reason to take it out of the bag at the current moment. It's obviously gotten some wear over the years. My driver is currently carrying 271 yards on average. Last but not least, we have my putter. It's the Scotty Cameron Futura 5W. It's a 34 inch putter. I've got five gram weights in it. I did have this one custom fitted. All right, that was kind of fun. I've never really done a what's in the bag, but I think it's kind of cool to know um, 
what clubs I'm currently carrying and how far I hit them. So if you do happen to watch my videos or also trying to become a competitive golfer to kind of see uh, what types of things and how you may stack up in that certain field. Thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate you as always for watching my videos. If you did happen to like this, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below if you have any questions. And again, don't forget to subscribe if you do want to see weekly updates on my videos. They're free, bro. I don't know what you're waiting for. Deuces, people. Let's keep it moving. Thank you.